Hey guys, this is Michael from BuddyBoss.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install the BBPress plugin. BBPress is a free plugin that is used to create forums on a website and is commonly used in conjunction with BuddyPress, uh, the community software. The two work very nicely together and are both uh, the core developer for both is the same guy. So we're going to go ahead in the dashboard here and we're going to click on plugins add new. Actually, I'm just going to click on plugins and show you. We already have BuddyPress installed, which I showed from my last tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and install BBPress for forums. Now, you don't need BuddyPress to run BBPress. You can run it on its own, but the two do work quite nicely together. So I'm going to click install. And it's now installed the plugin, and now I'm going to activate it. Okay, welcome to BBPress 2.4. So here we are, this is our little welcome screen. And now you can see we've got some things going on. We have forums, topics, replies. And this is where we manage the actual forums on our site. And then under settings, we have a new section here called forums. And so we're gonna head over here first. And in here, this is where you manage all your settings for your forum, the, the core settings. So do you wanna allow guest users who are not logged in to be able to create topics and replies. I'm going to go for it and say yes. Um, do we want to allow revisions, favorites, etc.? You can go through here and see what's going on. The Probably the most important thing going on is the forum root. So the root is forums, which is actually the URL for the, the forum. I'm going to show, show you what that means in a second. And then these are the URL or URL fragments, I guess you could say, for all the different parts of a forum. So, and you can change them all so that it adjusts your URL structure, which might be good for either the content of your, of your site or for SEO, depending on what you're trying to do. So, um, let's go to forums, new forum, and I'll call this forum about dogs. Oops, I'll say in here we discuss our favorite dogs. Very exciting. Okay, so it's a forum and it could be open or closed. Of course, we want to open so people can actually use it and you can change the visibility. Uh, we're going to leave it public so anybody can access it. So I'm going to publish it and then let's go ahead and view it. So here we go. We've got our first forum called Forum About Dogs. I'm going to add a, a, a title to it. And I'm going to say um, black labs are the best. And I say because I used to have one. Um, Labrador. I'll add as a tag. And then I can check notify me of follow up replies via email. A very cool feature. That means if somebody replies to my forum post, then I will get an email notifying me about it. So here we go, we've got a forum, and we've got our first topic, Black Labs are the best. And we can go through the breadcrumbs here and navigate back to the forum itself. And then we can navigate back to the uh, forum index, which contains all forums. Currently we only have one. And you'll notice that the URL here is slash forums. And that is what we set a moment ago in the BBPress settings is the root slug or the root URL for the forums index. That's pretty important, you don't wanna create a page also called forums, because now you have this index and a page both on the same URL and it's likely to cause some problems, some conflicts. So let's go back into the dashboard. And here now, if I click forums, you can see we've got our forum about dogs. And if I click topics, we've got the one topic that I just created. And if I click replies, it's probably empty. Yeah, it is because no one's ever replied to my post yet. But if someone were to reply, then we'd have that here. So it's pretty cool. We have this back-end administration area where, where we can manage all the forums, topics, and replies. Very similar to BuddyPress, which I showed you in the last video, gives you admin areas to manage activity and groups. Okay, so what if you want to have a page that allows you uh, to have your BBPress uh, index of forums on it? This is kind of a popular thing. You might want to put it in your put the page in your custom uh, menu, for example. So, or you might want to edit the content on the page. So, I'm going to create a new page 
for forums, and I'm going to call this page forum index just because. Um, forum index. So notice again, I, I didn't make the slug the same. So uh, actually, I don't know why I did it. So what I want to do here is put in a short code that gives that tells BBPress to make this uh, uh, the forum index. So this is the short code. You put an open bracket and you write bbp hyphen forum hyphen index and close the bracket. And you can put this on any page as long as the URL doesn't conflict and publish it. And this should work. Now you don't have to do this. It's not necessary, but some people like to do this. And so this created a forum index uh, that looks very similar except now it's an actual page. So I can go to Appearance Menus, and I've got my forum index here, and I can add that to a menu. Here it is, so let's save that, and refresh this page. And now we have this convenient index here. Okay, and here we can go into the forums, and that's basically a quick intro into BBPress. Let me move on and show you how this integrates into BuddyPress because there's kind of a cool thing. BuddyPress groups can have forums with them. So I'm going to go to a group and Mike's awesome group. If you watch the BuddyPress introduction video, you'll remember me creating this, this uh, group. And I go to the admin area and go to forum. So before it did not give me this option of allowing it to have a forum. Now it does because we have BBPress installed. So I'm going to check yes. I want this group to have a forum. And I'm going to make that the forum that it has. So I'm going to save that. And, and from now on, when you create a new group, it'll ask you if you want it to have a forum too. So now if I go into this group and I click forum, the form about, about dogs is now tied to Mike's awesome group. It's actually part of this group. And at any point we could untie it and it's pretty cool. So you can have a bunch of forums on your site and you can have some of the forums associated with groups and some of the forums not associated with groups at all. And if I go back to the forum index, here we have the forum about dogs. And if I click it, it, it actually takes me into the forum page within the BuddyPress group. And that is how BuddyPress and BBPress uh, very intelligently tie in together. And I think that's good for now.